What's going on YouTube? CV Schemer here. Um, I got back from locals like a, uh, I don't know, earlier, earlier in the day, and uh, I took Oracle Think Tank deck. Uh, it's actually quite a bit different than what I uploaded like yesterday because like after I woke up, um, basically like I looked at it and I was like the deck is way too defensive and I wasn't making good use of the soul, so uh, I changed the deck up like a little bit just to fit my personal preferences. And uh, I ended up getting top two. It could have went either way, um, because basically me and my friend just split for the um, for the prizes. So that was really good. And uh, but I think I would have gave him first place just because I think he consistently had the better. Um, he he definitely had the better record during the day because I was struggling a lot, but I was able to pull through a lot of matches. Um, so. Uh, yeah, like I said, I got top two, and, um, the deck is, uh, you gotta play, like, I think a lot, I guess, when the deck, when you play the deck, um, and I'll explain why, so I'll just, I'll show you what I did and what I changed up, and, uh, so the grade three lineup stayed the same, four CEO and this, this is fine, it's the same thing, um, we'll get into a minute, some of the cards do. I actually started playing four Libra because I wanted to gain card advantage. Um, in in certain cases, when you play this card, um, your opponent will have to ditch a card because they don't want you to get the plus one from drawing, so they'll ditch a card. And uh, that's even if they don't want to, they most likely will because, like I said, you're going to get a plus one and they don't want you to gain a card advantage right there. So I like Libra a lot. Plus it's nine, so it's not it's not bad. Um, so I really like it. And then for Silent Tom um, to win games, basically um, the logic behind the logic or the mindset behind this card is that uh, you have to play this card kind of smart. Uh, when I was originally in my first matchup, I actually played um, uh, what was it? Grand Blues, and um, I played this card too early when I only had one, and it ended up screwing me over because it wasn't doing anything for me, and uh, so I'll get into it. Basically, like, with this card, what you have to do is, you have to abuse cards like CEO and, um, CEO and Coco to reveal, um, triggers. And then this makes Silent Tom really good because Silent Tom in this deck, without Gemini, without um, without Gemini, this he can't he can't go higher than he can't go higher than 15, which is a problem. So like, uh, and and in most cases you won't always get this card back behind Silent Tom. So like I have to play a different style. So basically what I did was I abused these cards to see if I had triggers. And if I had the triggers, I was going to lay down Tom and back it up behind any grade one because it wouldn't matter after that. So um, then I would hit the trigger and I would put it on Tom to do the damage because there's just no way they can guard against it. Because Well, they could potentially, but they'd have to drop a lot of cards. And uh, I would swing at the Vanguard with this and it would just be busted. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how you, that's how I was playing Tom. Basically, if I saw the trigger with CEO, or if I saw the trigger with Coco, I was gonna lay down the Tom, on the in the rear guard circle. If I didn't see the trigger, or if I didn't see the Tom, I was gonna play. Um, I would not play Tom. I would wait until the trigger came out, and instead, my grade twos, I would either play the Libra or the Wise Man, um, because I. Uh, like I said, you have to play this card smart. Um, otherwise, you're you're um, you're not going to gain its true advantage. People just look at this card and kind of assume like, okay, they can't guard with grade zeros. Um, so then they just think like this card is immediately busted. The thing behind it though for me is that you need to back it up behind a rear guard, and they need to wait until you know you can get the trigger, and then you abuse this card. That's when this card is truly good. That's when this card wins me games. I've won a lot of games like that. Um, I had games where I had CEO here, and um, I had 
Well, we'll just pretend... I didn't have Coco. Well, I did, actually, in one matchup. I had something that looked like this, and um, he had 4 damage, and I saw the crit, and um, I said, okay... Well, it was actually like this, and then I, I looked at the top card, and I saw a crit, and uh, basically after that, I said, all right, well, I'm going to play the Tom then, because I have it. Uh, and then I played Tom, okay, and then uh, I attacked with this when it was at like 14 or something like that and uh, my opponent he guarded because he he immediately assumed I had a trigger he didn't know what one so he guarded so then I drove check I drove check into the critical and then I drove check into something else and I gave power to him so basically he's at uh, 13 back behind this is 19 was a plus two crit and then I went like this and they they couldn't they they couldn't guard because or they couldn't guard enough because 19 they had to drop um, either two fives and they didn't have it so that happened a lot for me um, they had to drop two grade ones or like a grade two or something but they didn't have it so then this card got really good or the same thing applies when I was getting draw triggers if I saw the draw trigger um, then I would go uh, attack they would guard with for CEO and then I would give power to him and then I would guard and I would get the damage so that's basically how you're gonna play Tom um, that's how it works the best that's how you get Tom's effect to go off and do it up start it up real good <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, Tom put in work today for me and uh, so did Libra because I was po I was forcing my opponents to guard when they probably did not want to guard because I was going to gain the plus one. So this card put in a lot of work for me too. Um, I dropped Security Guardian or Security whatever um, because um, it was way too defensive. My deck was just way too defensive, like I said, and I needed something to be better. I needed it to be a little bit more aggressive, and this turned out to be like perfect for me um, and how I was playing the deck. This card put in. This card always puts in work for me, so it doesn't matter. Silent Tom, if you play it right, it wins games. And then Libra, you just you force your opponent into uh, blocking when they don't necessarily want to, and then you get. Or if they have no choice, they're gonna let you go through, and you're gonna get a plus one. So that's pretty good. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of scenarios you have to think out when you play the deck. Uh, now I'm playing. Four chocolate because it's good. The mini Amaterasu, this card's good. It complements Silent Tom, and it will most of the time complement Libra. Um, because if I can bump up, if I can hit the trigger or not hit the trigger, it's fine. Um, but sometimes if I hit the trigger with Libra, it ensures that I get that that plus that plus one card advantage right there. So I like this card a lot. Everyone loves this card, so <laughs> it's good. Um, I should actually probably keep these out for a second. And then I'm playing four Gemini because it's the 8K and three Luckbird. Um, the grade, the grade one count. A lot of the attackers are pretty low, six, five, and eight. This is the only big one. Um, so you have. That's why you have to rely on triggers to boost your um van or Vanguard or rear guards to win games, which is what I do with Tom. Uh, I put usually the power on Tom to win me the game. I did that a lot. And Luckbird's really good because, um, let's say, um, let's say I have CEO out and I notice that, um, or let's say I have CEO or if I have Coco out and let's say I look at the top card and I want it. I don't want to put it on the bottom because I need it. Well, then I'll just play Luckbird to get that card. So then I have um, the card I want, and then I have more potential of drawing into a trigger. So that's what I was doing a lot, and um, it was really good. I was really happy about that. Neat, a lot of neat, nifty little plays you can do, so pretty happy. And then the trigger lineup, um, I changed it. I went back to my original, what I was doing. I was playing 6 crit and 6 draw because I think it's a good balance. Um... It works out for, more for me because crits will win me games a lot, so uh, and it complements Silent Tom really well. The six draw doesn't really conflict as much anymore because I play the uh, originally I like the eight draw, but with Luckbird and with uh, Libra, the six draw isn't really that necessary. So like, or the eight draw isn't necessary. So I was able to put this deck into a more aggressive aspect, and it ended up being really good. 
uh, I did a lot of cool plays, guys, and uh, I put in work. I was really stoked. <laughs> but uh, that's the new deck, guys. Um, on my old vid, I'll definitely put a link to the um to this one because yeah, I put this deck is a lot better and a lot um more balanced. So, yep, guys. So if you have any questions, let me know and uh, take care.